Ivory Structure Browse Hello all our Al is back for another video and welcome to another Santo Restoration Project. But first, make sure hit like, click subscribe, and hit on the bell so you get notifications for whenever we release a new YouTube video. Or on Facebook at Young Prince Gallus, make sure hit that like and see first. Follow us on Instagram at Al at of course, Indiana. Hey guys, it's been a while. It's been so while that I'm not um, touching my TikTok account. I'm not touching my um, YouTube account. Um, I'm not uploading any videos. And hopefully, um, when I upload this video, you are still there waiting for my new um, content to come out. And I felt sorry for all of you guys for waiting so long. It's three long months na hindi ako nakapag upload dito sa YouTube channel natin. But I am here now, and we are going to talk about um, sabon <laughs> or tinatawag dating ivory. Disclaimer lang, bawal na mag-produce ng bagong ivories. After 80s yata, there are laws already na nagbabawal to produce and harvest ivories. Kapag bibili kayo ng mga antique ivories, it is a must requirement to have a documents kasi kung walang documents yung mga bibilhin yung ivories especially antique ivories possibly na nakaw yung ivory especially kapag hindi mo kilala yung nagsisell na itong ivories at baka madamay pa ikaw pag kasuhan itong um, mga nagnakaw ng mga ivories kasi napakaraming ivories din guys na venerated image some of them are patronage pa no na ninakaw. Tapos, eh, binibenta sa black market at binibili din ng mga ivory collectors. And that is so sad. And hopefully, matigil na yung mga ganitong mga gawain. I think it's been two weeks ago. Um, yung anak ng teacher ko noong grade one, um, Ma'am Kenneth, was came into the shop. Tapos, nakwento niya sa akin, Alam mo, um, meron kaming ivory sa bahay. Sabi na, I don't know, it is really ivory. Pero sabi niya, lumang-luma na. And I think kailangan na ng restoration. Then, sabi niya, ikaw lang naman yung kailangan namin na um, pwede nung mag-ayos ng image dito kasi they don't want also to bring it into other artists. Kasi they don't know. Kasi ako kilala lang nila dito. Ako kasi, andyan lang naman kami isang barangay lang. So, sabi ko rin naman sa kanila is, um, it's napaka-delikado na dadalhin nyo o papa-restore nyo itong ganito klase ng image to the person that you doesn't know. Especially kapag dinala nyo ito sa ibang lugar, posible nilang itong palitan ng resin or kahoy. And that's a sad thing. It's easy kasi to say na, ah, it's not ivory. Di ba? You know, it's not ivory, kahoy lang siya or resin lang siya. I suggest, sabi ko, dalhin nyo na lang dito. I'm going to restore the image. At noong nakita ko nga yung imahe, I was mesmerized. Kasi, I think, um, gawa siya in 15th century or 16th, maybe. Kasi, there are, um, qualities or meron tayo kasi tayo yung mga tinatawag na mga palatandaan kung kailan trinuduce itong mga imahe. Kasi, it's easy no, to tell when the image is created in the 20th century or ngayon lang, bago lang produced to compare from the 16th and 15th century. So, itong imahe na to, um, had a lot of oriental um, characteristics sa isang imahe which indicates no, na yung art is possibly uh, Chinese, no? Kasi, alam nyo kasi guys, kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga ivories from um, the early centuries, for example, La Naval de Manila, and also Our Lady of Manawag, Our Lady of Pillars of Manila, they are all these characters that are sinket. It, in the case of it, is an oriental image or gawa either in the Philippines, in China or 
in Macau. So, kasi very, ano sila eh, tawag dito, kapag kasi yung artists are Chinese or Filipino or Asian artists, um, most of them, no, um, parang gumagawa din sila ng mga Buddha. Yun kasi yung ano eh, kasi minsan, from the Asian, no, Filipino, for yung mga Spanish, no, pag dumadaan sila ng Macau, um, or in China, pag napapagawa sila ng mga imahen, um, from the sculptors, um, syempre, nasana yung mga sculptor na gumagawa ng mga singkit, mag- malalapad yung eyelids, merong gitli- sa leeg, tapos sa tataas yung um, chin, maliliit yung ilong, that is a very Buddha, no, napaka-Buddha yung ang um, characteristic. At naa-apply nila ito sa mga ivories ng mga um, ecclesiastical arts or um, Catholic arts. Kaya yun yung mapapansin nyo. Um, one of the characteristics also of the oriental image is yung base. The base are um, kalimitan um, ukit niya ay lotus. Lotus um, flower or lotus leaves. And kasi pag Spanish, kasi yung ano, mostly clouds yung nakalagay. Pero pag Oriental, they are using Lotus kasi nga because of the Buddhist influence. guys to start this project you no know, i do have the base right here so as i was explaining earlier you no know, na etong base niya is very oriental you no know, napaka asian um structures kasi kung makikita mo yung clouds na ginamit niya this is uh, in in design niya is lotus this is a uh, lotus leaves kung makikita niyo kulay green siya tas um lotus leaves yung naka um design so we are going to re- restore first etong base so kung mapapakita ko sa inyo um natatanggal siya so meron siyang butas siya so we are going to restore this um separately no una una kung makikita nyo, there are some peel-offs sa mga um, pintura niya. Ano? Lalagyan muna natin to ng, ayun na nga, nagtanggalan na. Lalagyan muna natin to ng cheso. Okay? So, yung lalagyan lamang natin ng cheso ay itong mga areas kung saan nagkaroon ng fill-off. Tapos, yung mga areas lang din na yun, yung lalagyan natin ng uh, pintura. Dito naman sa Um, baba na part. This is naka gold leaf siya eh. So, since natanggal na yung most of the gold leaves, no? At ang gagawin natin dito, lalagyan lang din natin siya ng gesso. Kikinisin natin. Tapos, um, igu gold leaf natin. So, start na tayo dito. So guys, as you can see, these are the parts of the ivory image of the, the Lady of the Rosary that we are going to um, be restored. So, ito pala yung ulo ng Santa Lady. And so this is, I think this is just one feet image. So, kung titignan nyo, yun yung ating ivory. Tapos, half siya, mid-half. Ayan. Tapos, meron siyang kahoy na ganito. Lalagay dito para maging buo siya. Ayan, meron siyang butas. So, lalagyan lang natin siya ng screw na made of bamboo. This is actually beautiful. Tapos, tingnan niyo kung gaano ka-intricate yung kanyang 
mga daliri. So, you see that? yung ganitong klase ng quality guys ng um, imahe hindi mo na siya makikita sa mga bagong gawa ngayon na iPhone and take note um, this image is from 15th century so ibig sabihin wala pa silang machine na ginagamit for this um, image or sa pagbukit ng mga imahe so yung gagawin natin unang una nung lilinisin natin Pagkali muna natin yung mga naka-exist na um, kagaya na lamang dito sa Santo Nino. Mayroon pa siyang mask and teeth dito. Set aside lang muna natin yung mga ibang parts na hindi pa natin gagalawin. So start tayo dito. Face in your face. Ayan. Para linisin itong imahe natin guys, we're going to use this hydrogen peroxide. So, mabibili nyo lang to sa mga kalapit na butika. The traditional way, they are using a lemon to clean up the ivory. But today, we are going to use this uh, hydrogen hydrogen peroxide oh, kasi rin mas effective ito okay. and of course we are going to use a cotton para linisin itong um, imahe okay. diba kung makikita nyo natatanggal agad yung, yung mga dumidumi So ngayon guys, as you can see, no, itong imahe ng Santo Nino, ayan, is dilinisin lang natin gamit yung cotton, cotton buds, ayan, tsaka hydrogen peroxide, ayan, kung meron pa siyang mga in mga kandila pa siya dito. Hindi alam baka natulungan ito. Kasi guys, if you do have ivories in your home or at your home, make sure na nakaglass yung mga imahe. I don't know if you already know this. No? Yung ating imahen. Ayan. Mas white. Oh, nalinis na siya kagad dito. Tingnan nyo. Dito, start tayo dito. Let's select. Um, deep lang tayo ng hydrogen peroxide. Nakikita nyo ba yung dumi niya dito sa leg? Ganyan lang siya guys. Kasi hindi mo siya pwedeng i-brush hindi mo siya pwedeng sabunin. Ito yung pinaka magandang way para malinis yung ating ivory. Diba? Do you see that? The other half of the face are still dirty and the other half are already clean. Diba?
naman guys, papaarawan natin yung ating ivory para bumalik yung kanyang pagkapote para pumuti ulit ang ating ivory pero syempre babantayin natin sya kung lang tayo sa may silong This time naman guys, mag-start na ako mag na. So sa inkarna ng isang ivory, yung mailalagay lang natin dito ay ang kanyang eyeshadow, ang kanyang eyelid, tsaka yung kanyang eyebrows. At i-define lang natin yung mga deep set no, para maging clear at maging maganda ulit ang ating ivory. Para sa isang antigo na ivory, sa lips ay kailangang pink ang kanyang kulay. At gamit din ng oil paint, ito rin yung gagamitin natin sa blush. Oh well guys, kanina hindi na ako nakapagpapiyong habang sinatagi ko ito damit ng ating ivory. But this is actually hand stitches. No, hindi na ako kumuha ng ang um, tagatahe. Tinahin ko na lang siya ng mano-mano with this large needle. So, i-a-attach ko na lang itong sleeves ng ating gahen sa kanyang blouse. After this, ang um, sin na tayo sa kapa. So 
Okay lang mga guys, hopefully you like this videos. At kung may mga gusto pa kayong itackle dito sa YouTube channel natin, please comment down below. Kung may mga suggestions kayo at mga gusto nyong um, bagong topics na itackle natin dito sa YouTube channel natin, comment yun na yan sa iba ba. At just a friendly reminder, I see you watching this YouTube video from the beginning but you haven't subscribed yet. Kaya mag-subscribe na guys. Click yun yung subscribe button natin at huwag nyo kakalimutan ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga YouTube videos natin. So, hope you like this video and see you next vlog.